and we're back all right well, now we got that issue right because we have default routes on our exterior outer edge routers right we have default routes there now we're going to do static routes and what exactly is a static route basically what you're doing is just telling the router hey i want to get to that network through this interface or through their next router's hub address again cisco on point to point connections they want you to use exit interfaces exit interfaces why because there's only one lookup on the routing table instead of two so we did the default routes here and let's check that again and obviously we got to log in again even though we did that uh exec hyphen timeout zero zero we're not supposed to time me out but hey that's okay well capital letters LDS, and we use apple all right show ip route to take a look at that and there is our static route right there okay which is your gateway of last resort now we still can get across because router 2 does not know about these two networks so we need to tell router 2 hey these networks exist so let's go to router 2 let me click in here there we go username LDS. password is apple okay let's go to global configuration and then we say IP route. I want to go to the 192.168.1.0 network that has a mask of 255.255.255.0 through which interface. Let's move this down here. I want to go this way. Therefore, I want to go out the S011 interface. S11 interface. So we go S0 slash 1 slash 1. Oops. Interface. Boom done now we do another one right but i'm going to cheat i'm just going to do an up arrow and then it's the next interface will be s s010 i believe we'll verify that before we hit enter and then i want to go to the three network which is the other way and let's see if that's true s010 yes that is correct so i'm going to do a control e takes me to the end of the line hit enter exit and then I'm in privilege mode. Let's move this so you can see that. Line this up nicely here. Okay. And I'll do a copy, run, start, enter, enter. And if you were to take a look at your routing table now, show IP route, you'll see that you have three connected, right? entries in your routing table but you also have two static entries and by default the static entries look like they're directly connected because since you're using the exit interface the administrative distance is zero so now we should be able from the pcs to ping across let's see here oh let me click in here ping 192.168.2.1 enter i get a reply and now 3.1 enter and i get a reply so we're getting a reply from pc0 let's try pc2 i'm just going to up arrow there we go going to do a control c to break that and then do 1.1 beautiful everything's working and like i said you want to verify connectivity all the way across ladies and gentlemen in the cisco test verify 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 you don't want to leave anything to chance 192.168.1.1 good to go and then th 3.1 so you can see we're using a combination of static and default routes we have default routes on our outer edge routers right here and we're using static routes right here with the default administrative distance of uh zero what's the benefits of using that well the router processing correct static routes versus dynamic routes static routes really are not going to take up any processor usage there's no bandwidth being taken up whatsoever there's no updates being sent out and it's a lot more secure because you are you actually control what information can get across okay so there you go that's how you would do static routes now if you were to do a static route here which really it would be a moot point because you already have a default route anything that it doesn't have in a routing table is going to send it out its interface to the next router anyway 
okay? But you would say, hey, I want to go to the destination network out this interface. I want to go to the destination network out this interface. And the same way, the other way. I want to go to the destination network out this interface. I want to go to the destination network out this interface, right? If you were to do it from those routers. But again, no need. So that's it. That's it. That's all there is to a static route. Now, that leads us to the next, which starts the dynamic routing protocol. And the first one that we're going to talk about is RIP. I'll see you there.